Welcome to the Ecom Profit Podcast. I am your host, Laz Chavez, and here we have Richard Motherfucking Toe. <laughs> so what? Do, what do we? Well, first of all, let's take a shot, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we want to take a shot before this. Podcast. We got some shots ready. You got one for Johnny too. Johnny, say behind the cameras. We got one for Johnny. We got one for Johnny right here. Johnny, say. All right, well, well, cheers. Cheers to, cheers cheers to success. And going to be all fucked up. Cheers to success. <laughs> Oof, that was good. Damn. Oh, that actually tastes great. That's really good. Now we're going to get, we're getting loose. That's some now Tennessee, some Tennessee really honey. Good. Yeah, yeah. That's really good, actually. Yeah. Honey you whiskey. You want another one? Nah, nah. <laughs> 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 that was like, you were, you were saying it joking, but not really. Well, you know, uh, sometimes it is better than one. <laughs> so this podcast, we're going to be talking about back end and, and, and front end, right? That's going to be the general topic. And then we'll kind of jump around if it's, if it's not, if it's better or not. I mean, it's obviously like the back end is what you, you need to have a back end for your business, make some money off the back end. And most people don't make money off their back end. And that's one of their biggest failures, I would say that um, they're just trying to chase money on the front end. And if they're not profitable on the front end, they give up. Um, so you want to you get this started? Yeah. Yeah. So what we mean by making money on the front end and the back end is, uh, uh, you know, like whenever you're running an offer, whether it be a product, a service, whatever it may be, you're paying money to acquire a client. And then once you have that client, you want to basically get value from them throughout a you know, their, their whole lifetime. So you get a lead and then you don't just sell them one product, but then you sell them another product and then you sell them another product. And then you sell, maybe you can sell them two or three more products, but there's like this, this saying, I, I know a lot, a lot of the, the big names out there, they're always preaching. Mm -hmm. Um, the good, the good guys make money on the, on the, on the front end. And then like the great guys make great money guys, on, yeah. on the back end, which is, you know, you have to have systems in place where mm -hmm. you can make money you know, not just, not yeah. just one time. It's, you know, there's different offers that you can give them. I, I would even go as far as saying that on the front end, you're trying to probably. And we got Johnny over there playing, Johnny playing over videos there. and whatnot, <laughs> distracting us from the topic <laughs> at hand. Johnny, you don't find this interesting? What? Hey, Johnny's not paying attention. <laughs> guys, I would even go as far as saying it lies, guys, lies, whatever. Um, that maybe 30% of, of your money is made on the front end while 70% is made on the back end. And that's a very important concept to grasp. And a lot of beginners, they, they do a mistake that they don't make, that they don't set up their back end system. They're just, again, if you're running a Google ad or Facebook ad and you're selling this water bottle for two bucks and you're paying $1, they're only focused on just selling that first water bottle. And then once they have that client, right? So the client lead, um, depending on what type of offers you're running, right? You can call them lead your client. Once you have that client, um, you just never sell to them again, which yeah. is terrible because they're just sitting there. You already paid to acquire that client and now you, you're not making money off of them anymore. And that's something that Laz and I have struggled with as well. Mm -hmm. It's partly because we didn't know at first. And then once we knew when we don't have a strong back and set up, it's, it's literally out of pure laziness because really, I, I think when you have a business, the business is the back end. If you have just a front end, you just have a store. If you're just yeah. selling water bottles, you just have a store that sells water bottles. You don't have a business. Yeah. I think to have a business, you need to be able to, I, I would say, don't quote me on this. I've never heard this from anyone, but I will say you need to sell. You need to be able to sustain yourself for at least one year without running an ad. And that's when you can say, okay, I have a business because now you can sustain yourself for a whole year. You don't have to run ads. So you have a real business once you can do that, right? Yeah. You don't need yeah. to run any ads to actually make money, to make profit. Yeah. And I, I think a lot of it is monetizing, monetizing leads. Um, and hitting leads up that, you know, that have already bought something. Uh, I, I always like to like give examples of things. Um, and I'm going to be like very transparent here um, with, with our, with our e-com stores and with, even yeah. with our digital products that we sell. Yeah. So with e-com, the most common way of doing this is uh, creating some sort of backend uh, email sequence or flow. Mm -hmm where once somebody buys something from you, or even if they subscribe to your newsletter, you're hitting them up over and over again with different yeah. offers and different products. A uh, perfect example is what we did was we actually set up a three month um, email flow where every single day, I know that this sounds like, like, oh my God, like who sends out an email a day? 
every single day we're sending our customers, our previous customers, people who bought stuff from us, we're sending them a brand new product and we're telling them, hey, check this out. We have a brand new product, giving them a little description of what that product does and then giving them a call to action like, oh, buy this now or check it out. And it was crazy. I think over three months, we were generating 30,000 a month. So 90,000 in just three months three that months. we were doing this. No, it was, it was 113. It was 113. We, we kept yeah. saying 90, but then we had that. We had like another one that we set up and we completed, it was 113 in three months. Free money. Yeah. Free yeah. money. Yeah. And it's, and it, it was all people who had already bought from us and we were just giving them like more products. Look, check this yeah. out. Check this out. And we would do the same product. Like if we saw a product did well, we would even put it on the back end, like further down the line. And we would hit them again with, with another, with another product. So, but let, oh, you didn't call. it was, it was like 112,000 over three months. So, um, that was money that before that we were just leaving on the table. Now, again, this is where there's always has to be like a balance with things. Cause we were doing that and long behold, we got, sh our emails got shut down because we were just sending out too, too many, many, too emails, many emails yeah, it was too many. and we like compliance issues and all that stuff. But regardless of that fact, that is, that just goes to show how much money you can make, um, on the back end. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually going to do some, some math. So we did 113 in three months. That means that on a monthly basis, we were doing about 38 grand, 38 grand a month, uh, multiply that by 12, 456. That was $450,000 that we would have made in a whole year just running emails. Yeah. So that, and you know what, do 456, take away, take away a hundred, do 350, do 356 just because as you keep sending emails and emails and emails, your revenue will start going down if you don't keep getting new people in. But yeah. 350 grand we would have made in that one year without running a single ad. That's, yeah. that's insane. Yeah. And that's the money that we would have been missing out on. Yeah. And that's, that's, that was a very simple model. I mean, it was basically one email yeah. a day for a single product, like no thought out process of like, Oh, I'm going to hit them once. If they don't open the email, I'm going to send them another. It was literally very yeah. simple. Just send them an email every single day. And if they don't buy, sure. Some people are going to buy. And we're sending them, it, was, it wasn't even like a niche product. It was like all kinds of different, like cool gadgets. Like, oh, check this out, check this out. Like, look, we have this one. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It, it was, it wasn't, honestly, it was a very elementary, like, yeah. it was a very elementary email sequence, really. We were just sending them one product a day for 90 days straight. We, we didn't think of a process. We didn't think of like, of a product to send to a specific customer. So if maybe if a customer bought a cleaning product, we could have sent them cleaning products, but instead yeah. we were sending them any yeah. product. So we, our revenue definitely could have been higher, but it just goes to show the power of having a backend system and what yeah. it really means. Yeah. Adding, adding to more examples, um, with our courses, and again, guys, this, this full transparency, like we're not hiding anything with our courses. One of our backend offers that works really well is our ads management. So we sell a course, we teach people how to do e-commerce and Google ads. And then what we're selling them after the fact that if they purchase, if, you know, they went through the program, maybe they, they really liked it and they, you know, they got a lot of value from it. They started running ads, they're doing well, but they want to get to that next level. Or maybe they, you know, they got to the ads and they got kind of overwhelmed. They're like, Oh, sh like this, this is, yeah. this is a lot of information. I don't know if I can, if I can make this work. Mm -hmm. We have the ads management program where basically, um, our team takes care of your ads. So it's like, it's a higher tier program. That's like on a monthly recurring basis. But that's like something else that you can add on the back end. And now we're trying to introduce other things that we can add on the back end just to like solidify, um, you know, our system yeah. and basically be able to monetize all the leads that we have. Because once you buy that data and Richard, like, like, it's crazy because Richard's like, yeah, the data, the data industry is like, is yeah. like what's booming right now. It's like the biggest industry. It like passed it, it the oil. Just, and it just surpassed the oil industry. Data so industry. there's so much money in data that it'd be like, you're stupid if you're not monetizing it. You know, you have to, you're paying for all this data, all these people who, you know, they're in interested in products. They're interested in like business opportunity. They're interested in like whatever the case may be. You have this huge list of people and now you have to monetize it. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some people out there that all they do is monetize data. Yeah, like, we, we actually met a guy who last year made $5 million by monetizing data. He had a, a million uh, person email list and he made $5 million that, off of that email list. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, we don't know how he got the email list, but yeah. he got the email list. You Honestly, you, you run the ads. I mean, he yeah. ran ads to get the email list or he paid for the email list and then he just monetized them for a year straight and made $5 million off of it. Yeah. Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, that's... Some, um, 
Go, going into also last to the back end thing, you you have to be really, you have to have really, you have to have it really well organized as well, right? Because if let's say you're paying five dollars for a purchase, you have to know exactly how much each customer is worth to you. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes, sometimes it makes sense to break even on the front end and then to just make all your money right. on the back end. Because so so we can talk about the mistakes that people do. So first of the first mistake is that they don't have a backend at all. That's like, that's really bad. Mistake number and one. Yep. Yeah. You don't have a backend at all. That's a huge mistake. You don't even have a business if you don't have a backend. Which is fine. Everyone starts. When there. you start. Yeah. yeah. When you start, it's completely fine to not have a backend. You're trying to do like test the concept, see if it works. If it does, you got to build a backend. That's step number. That's like the second thing you have to do. So the second mistake I'm like losing my train of thought here. The, se- uh, the second mistake is that they're not really well organized with their backend. They don't really know how much each customer is worth to them. So uh, to give you guys an example, when Laz and I were selling umbrellas, we, we didn't have a backend back then. Not when we sold umbrellas. No, no. We were right? just, we were literally making money off each individual umbrella and that was it. And that was it. And, yeah. and we were making, and guys, again, full transparency, we were making like three to $4,000 profit a day. That's after yeah. merchant fees. That's after ad costs. That's after everything. We were literally making $3,000. And I think that we were probably making 40% of what we could have actually made had yeah. we had upsells, had we had a strong backend with email sequences. And that's another thing that I was going to tell you because we've been talking about emails, but guys, there's many chat that you can use. There's text messages. And what we, what Laz and I have seen with text message, text messages, especially in our digital product um, course is that text message, the open rates are insane. Like it's 90%. a game changer. It's, a yeah, game changer. it's literally a game changer. Whenever we do anything, we always send out a text message blast because it's insane. The open rates. I mean, emails are still good, but now all these new players are coming in, like many chat, um, SMS, text messaging. Yeah. There's so many yeah. uh, push notifications. Yeah. We haven't even tried yeah. that yet. If people don't know what, what uh, many chat is, it's basically a messenger for Facebook. So what it does is it allows you to get people on a messenger list for Facebook and blast mm-hmm. thousands of people, however many people you get to opt into your messenger. So th- you guys have to think about it in a way that like, where are people most likely at, right? Are most, ple- are most people on their emails? Are most people on their, on their like phones? Mm-hmm. Are they most of them are like, are they on Facebook Messenger? Where are most people at and where are the least amount of people sending messages through? So, so something else is also to get them on different platforms. So once you have them, let's say you have a Shopify store, most of the time you're only going to have an email. That's all mm-hmm. you're going to have. And what another mistake that people do is that they just only send them emails, but you want to get them from an email. You want to get them to give you their phone number. After that, you want to get them to go into a many chat. And after that, maybe into an Instagram account so mm-hmm. you can hit them from multiple, um, not, I don't want to say angle. What is it like point, points of, of contact, point, I points guess, of contact. points of contacts that you What's can the, hit them from. I think it's seven points of contact. And then like, like even when you're like on a date with a girl, you want to yeah, like, yeah, it's always you wanna, seven. You want to like take her to Dude, like, to like a we, bar. And then you want to take her to like, a, like, yeah, else, yeah, another bar. You take yeah. seven bars, and guess what? You're you're, you're, gonna, getting, you're getting lucky tonight. No, that's with everything. It's lucky number seven. It says yeah. that it takes a, a person on average of seven times seeing an ad to actually make a decision yeah. Yeah. of whether they want. To. The first time they see an ad, they don't know if they want to buy it or not. The yeah. second time, no. It takes them up to the seventh time where they actually decide, okay, I'm not gonna like do this, or I'm not gonna yeah. buy it, or I am gonna buy it. Yeah. So you have to show it to them at least seven times. Yeah. And it's beneficial if you have it on different. On yeah. different platforms, different, different places, points of touches, yeah. points of contacts that you can yeah. hit them on their text. You can be everywhere um, to them. So, um, something else, and these are just like ideas coming in. Something else that you that you do that we've done in the past, and it gives you really good results, is running ads to your email list. So you're not retargeting because retargeting is running ads to people who have seen your ads and they haven't done something. They haven't purchased Mm -hmm. or they haven't, they added to cart, but they didn't purchase. But running ads to your email list, like to your customers is also really good for like for a sale. If you're doing a sale, if you have um, anything, any type of promotion, it it performs extremely, extremely well. Yeah. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you just have to remember that data is valuable. And if you, if you're paying to get data, like even if you're breaking even, there's so much value in that yeah. data. Um, something that we just, we haven't discussed either is like re- remarketing, retargeting on yeah. on Facebook, on Google. Uh, once someone once they're tagged with a pixel or oh, with, yeah, you, you tag them. you tag them with a, a Google tag, you now can show your ads to these people over and over again across like wherever yeah. they are online. 
Yeah. So on Facebook, you if if they if they land on one of your pages, you can show them ads over and over and over again yeah. to kind of like solidify um, what it you're, is that you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, it's like it's brand awareness. If you yeah. just if you keep showing up and showing up, and it's that omnipresence. Omnipresence. Thing they see like you they, over and over. They see yeah. you over and over yeah. again. They think you're you're some. They they basically think that you're bigger than what you actually are. Yeah. If you're just retargeting, retargeting, they see you everywhere. They're like, holy shit. Okay, let me check these people out. Yeah. Yeah, so that that and then with Google you can do the whole like display network where yeah. basically you can be on ESPN or you can be on yeah. you can be on whatever website you I think they, they even have it on Skype now. Yeah, yeah they like, have it everywhere. They so like everywhere. even you, in your Gmail, yeah. on your Gmail that you pop up. They yeah, so you 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 can basically be anywhere. Um and all these are all of these are points of contact mm -hmm. which um you don't want to uh, yeah. neglect, you know. And uh, look, honestly, at the end of the day, a business is just what you're spending versus what you're making, right? And right now, on the front end, if we spend two dollars to acquire a customer and we're making four dollars, that's just your front end money. Mm -hmm. What what having a back end does is that it takes that four dollars that you're making and turns it into six, turns it into ten. So that's really the point of a back end system, and it, and it allows you to make money without having to depend on ads, which that's beautiful. I think that's freaking yeah. beautiful. Imagine if you you didn't have to spend money to make money. How yeah. how nice is that? Yeah, I, I think the whole like acquiring new customers. We have yeah. someone coming in here. Acquire. Oh. You can come uh, in. Yeah, you can come in. <laughs> guest guest appearance. Guest appearance. So um, so yeah uh, so what were you saying? Oh, uh, that that acquiring so acquiring new customers should just be an extra. But if if you can just make money off of your off of the customers that you already have, I think you're in way better shape than if you have to just be in that rat race of like every single week, every single day, you're just acquiring new people, new people, new people, selling them, and then they're off your they're off your list. I yeah. think if you can sell well to the people that you already have, then you'll have a way more established yeah. business brand than if you're just selling to yeah. people who are brand new. Yeah, I think I think as a matter of fact, it's 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 more expensive to get a new a new person than to sell an, a person that oh, you already have. No, of course, of yeah. course, because the person you already have, you already paid for them. Yeah, so you already paid for that person. So it, it, again, it's it's stupid to not monetize the list, and and then this, these are things that you like just learn over time. At first, of course, you're not gonna know, but now you're listening to this podcast, you're taking action, and you're not yeah. letting this just this idea just slip by like you know we did at first. We just didn't know. Yeah. Um, but luckily you're here and and you got this, and, this and, crucial and piece of information. A perfect example is let's say that you that you paid twenty dollars to acquire a new person, and and you sell them a thirty dollar item, you have made ten bucks. But now the next time you sell them something, you 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 don't spend anything. So yeah, it's a lot cheaper to sell to your uh, to your customers and to new prospects, new yeah. new people that you're advertising to. Now we're not saying that it that it's because to have customers, you have to run ads, obviously. Yeah. So we're just saying to not put all your focus on the front end and, and actually put work on your back end and you're gonna see your revenue go up. And even if you don't see your revenue go up, you'll still see your profit margin go up. Yeah. Right? So yeah, it, it's, not, is gonna be yeah, it's yeah. it's not all about revenue because I'd rather I'd rather be making 10K selling 20k they make 15k selling 50k yeah, yeah okay it's all about roi it's all about the work that you're putting out and yeah. i think that the way to not lower your revenue but you'll keep your revenue stable but your roi will go up if you start remarketing to your people if you have a strong back-end system and I, I think that's how you really take your business to the next level and that's how you can really say you have a business yeah. again to have a business you need to at least be able to maintain yourself yeah how long is that we got the we got the big two oh 20 minutes 20 minutes we'll, we'll in. be ending it soon yeah so yeah, I think that the takeaway from this is to start implementing your backend system. Laz and I are actually implementing a pretty big backend system. We'll be done in January, hopefully. Yeah. And um, we, we can bring it onto this podcast if you guys remind us in the comments. We'll bring it in, we'll bring yeah. it in here, show you guys exactly what we put up. But I mean, this is going to be huge. It's going to be a three-month sales cycle. And after, after those three months, we'll probably run them through like other affiliate offers and stuff to yeah. really... Guys, the whole point is just to milk your customers. If you don't milk them, someone else is going to do it for yeah. you. That, I, I like that. Um, you got to think about it that way. If, you, yeah. if you're not the one blasting your whole list, if you're not the one staying in your customer's face, if you're not the one hitting them every single day, there's gonna be someone else who is. Who is exactly. So it's kind of like, you know how they do like those that like, uh, I, I watch a lot of like uh, boxing and, and uh -huh. stuff and like a lot of the fighters are like, yeah, 
you know, whenever I'm not training and it, it, like if they're not training and I'm training, I'm getting ahead. Like, yeah, if you're not hitting the list, someone yes, else, someone that, else is going to be hitting that, your customers. Like to think that you're going to burn a list is just selfish. Yeah. yeah. You, you, do you really think that they're only subscribed to your list? Yeah. You don't think there's some some other guy out there burning the hell out of their yeah. list and making the money you're not yeah. making? People are whores. Yeah. <laughs> you know, poor, poor people. Yeah. Out there. They're just there on your list and you're not offering them yeah. all those cool products. Life changing. Yeah. Yeah. Poor people. Like, you're, you're not giving them the life changing opportunities. Like, I mean, it's your duty to just hit the list and, mm -hmm. and other people are doing it too. So you gotta, you gotta step up and, and deliver. Um, but yeah, I think I we think, can go ahead and end it here. That yeah, was pretty good. I think, I think that covered a good amount. The back end system, if you're not, if you're not using the back end and you're only making money on the front end, you're missing out on a lot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it here on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, wherever you are listening to Spotify. this. Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Wherever you are, uh, subscribe, comment, like, let us know what you think. Uh, honesty, we, you know, we're transparent. We, we don't really hold anything back from you guys. So we just want your, your feedback, whatever that may be. Uh, we always say that if you watch the podcast on YouTube or wherever, Leave some comments. Let us know what you want to listen up, like uh, want to listen to us talk about, and we'll go ahead and bring it yep. on here. Uh, there's really nothing off the table. And hit that notification bell. Yeah, that notification bell on YouTube. All right. Well, thank you guys, and this is us checking out.